We're going to start with our oral adjunct, our oral pharyngeal airway device. We're going to choose our device. Our device is designed to bypass the tongue to help hold the tongue out of the way and help hold the mouth open to give us an advantage when we ventilate our patient. We're going to measure this device from the tip of the patient's mouth to the tip of their earlobe. We'll notice that this one is too small. We'll notice that this one is just a bit too large. And this one is just right. Our second option to measure is going to be from the center of the mouth to the corner of the jaw. When we insert our OPA, we're going to open the mouth with a scissor motion with our index finger and our thumb to scissor open the teeth. Taking our OPA on the corner of the patient's mouth, we'll start with the curve facing the top of their mouth and then rotate so we don't push the tongue posterior until we have the hub with the patient's lips. If our patient starts gagging, we're going to remove our OPA, turn our patient on the side to remove the vomit, and then suction. We have two mechanical suction devices. One, we're gonna use manually. First, we will check the suction on the back of our hand to make sure we have suction. Then we're going to measure our device just the same way we measured our OPA from the corner of the mouth to the tip of the ear. We will insert our device without suction, apply suction in a sweeping motion no longer than 10 seconds as we remove the device. So we have another mechanical suction with a Yonkar tip. It's a rigid tip. It has a manual on-off hole in the rigid tip. When our finger is off of it, there is no suction. Our finger is on it. Now we have suction. We're going to turn our device on, putting our finger over the hole, check our suction. Then we're going to measure again from the corner of the mouth to the corner of the ear. We're going to insert without suction, apply our suction in a sweeping motion back and forth on the way out, no longer than 10 seconds. Now we'll move on to our NPA. We know our patient has an intact gag reflex, so they won't accept our OPA. So now we'll move to our NPA. Our NPA is designed to go in the nose. We will select the size based upon the diameter for the patient's pinky, approximately. We're gonna measure from the tip of the nose to the corner of the ear with a curvature following uh, the back of the mouth. We can see this one is too large. We can see this one is too small. We can see this one is just right. Before we put in our NPA, we're going to need to lube the distal tip of our NPA. The slight upward pressure of the nose. And on the NPA, there's going to be a cut or a bevel. We want that bevel to face the patient's septum, the center of their nose. So slight upward pressure on the patient's nose. Insert bevel towards the septum and push all the way down until the hub of the NPA reaches flush with the patient's nostril. That's going to be our OPA, NPA, and suction.